It seems to be the trend uh, in, in, in the United States, at least, and, and locally uh, as well, that we, we really make this a, a celebration of who the person was. Unless it's a tragic accident, uh, we try to bring in the, to, the, uh, to the ceremony, the service, the planning, and, and remember the thoughts about this person's life. Not to just focus on the death, although the grieving process needs us to do that, but also what took place, the time that we did spend with, with them, uh, that we had with them, the, the things that they like to do. Uh, many services now include large video presentations or lots of music or uh, even funny stories and comedians and people coming in to honor the person because that was their personality. You'll, you'll see a lot that we try to shape and, and help that family uh, live that service out just like the person would live their life. Were they real stoic? Were they, were they uh, a person of humor? Did they like music? Uh, what were the things that, that involved in their life when they were alive? That's the same kind of thing we try to uh, help them walk through uh, in, in the death and through the process uh, of the funeral service and even beyond. The great thing again about um, about a service is there's no right or wrong, there's no protocol, there's no set standard of when someone dies, here's what you must do. You are free to cut and paste, as it were, uh, anything that you feel appropriate. N nothing was done for dad, so we're going to honor him at the same time during mom's service, maybe through video, uh, maybe through uh, bringing in speakers who would say, um, never got to share at this person's death, but I, we want to today. Um, because now both of them are gone, we want to honor them in this way. Uh, many things that can, that can be done uh, in, in a service at the graveside, wherever you choose to do it. I think it's very appropriate to, uh, to honor uh, someone who hasn't been honored before um, and, and very normal. Again, don't let maybe some of our standards or what we think a funeral service looks like um, uh, come into play and, and make us be stuck in a box of what that, that service can look like. I've seen some people do some really creative things and great things that I've remembered and, and, and passed on to other people. Um, military funerals are a wonderful thing because of the pageantry um, that, they, that they have. Unfortunately, usually it's a young person uh, that, that has uh, died and deceased, and so you, you work with that. But there's something about uh, honoring people in, in a way that the military does that's, that's great. I think you can take some of those things and bring them into just a regular person's funeral. Maybe it's a, a club that they belong to. You honor them uh, in, in different ways. Hobbies are a great thing. I've seen people who, they were a great duck fan and the whole service was around games and, and things that they went to. They decorated. You can do lots of great things that way. Um, so there are, are many ways to, to do it. Um, and, and there are lots of good things. Nothing is off, off limits. There is nothing you couldn't do if it was done in an honoring way. I, I love, um, music is a great thing. Technology is so good right now that you can do things with video and, and uh, all kinds of things with computers that really bring these people to life, as it were, for, for the time. Uh, whether it is an honoring of their life, whether it's music that they loved, whether it's uh, some type of, of testimonial by people who couldn't be at the service, but you could film them and bring them in. Um, lots, lots of great things.